him. <laughs> you fell for it again! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is rich! What was it that, what was it that, that was the deciding factor in the economy? <laughs> I don't know shit about fixing the economy! <laughs> the economy famously collapsed at the end of my administration! <laughs> Because we, COVID came along, and we were all like, what's a pandemic? And I even hear, I even hear there were some women who voted for me. What's wrong? Harvey Weinstein wasn't on the ballot? And I even heard, oh, this is rich. I even heard that there were some minorities who voted for me. What's wrong? David Duke wasn't on the ballot? Bah! Ah, ah, ah. Oh! Oh, it hurts so much! But it's hilarious! Oh my gosh! Oh, what was it? Was it because of undocumented immigrants? Was deportation the price that you were willing to accept? <laughs> to sell the soul of your country? <laughs> Oh my gosh! You Americans are so easy! <laughs> if I knew you were that easy, <laughs> I would have offered you some magic beans instead! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, and by the way, a big special shout out! <laughs> a big special shout out to all the angry young dude bros who made this possible! <laughs> Who have spent the last four years getting groomed <laughs> by accused human trafficker Andrew Tate <laughs> and celebrated Joseph Goebbels impersonator Jordan Peterson? <laughs> Truly, you've proven that at least for the time being, <laughs> you're just as clueless as all the women in your life secretly say you are. <laughs> Oh, oh, I look forward to being your dictator, I mean president, or whatever. <laughs> Thank you so much, America. Give me a big old hug, whether you like it or not.